Uh, yeah, pal is a pretty weird word and I'm surprised that it's on here. And to another video so today we'll be reviewing a really cool game called the Touchtronic Letters LJ300 by Junior Learning now it is a really cool game he wasn't so excited when he opened the package yeah. but later when we played with it, it we is realized really, and you know it's a really cool game when even it, it excites even adults so yeah. you know it's gonna excite the children as well so. the reason why it's really cool is because it combines the technology world and the physical world this is the technology that companies are trying to push towards yeah. schools because it's the new way of teaching where children are interacting with a hands-on activity while using technology. Yeah, I mean, I mean, nowadays like kids are just indoor. It's either they're completely indoor or they're completely outside. So this is a really cool game that kind of like mix between the two. And I, I feel like it's a really good transition as well, right? Yeah. It's a good transition to if you want your kids to be not playing iPads for too long. This game complies with the following sections in Australian curriculum. And the game says that it helps with a lot of things. Marina, what does it help with? So it's helping with three aspects, phonemic awareness, uh, letter recognition Let and word building. word building. So this is the three things that you need for your little ones in order for them to succeed in school. This game is suitable for ages 3 and above, but then again you can play even in your 10, 11, 12, I mean we played it. It's available in Amazon. You can check it in the description box to see whether it's available in your country, but even if it's not, you can just order it in Amazon USA. So. The thing that you would need to play the game is an iPad. If you don't have an iPad, that's the first thing you need to get, an iPad. <laughs> that's a very expensive thing to get, yeah, so, so maybe save up. <laughs> yeah, but if you do have an iPad, so the game is only compatible with iPads version 2 and above, right? So if you are in version 1, it would not work. So you would need to have version 2 and above. So now, the first thing that you need to do to download the um, complimentary apps. So mm -hmm. the game comes with two apps. Number one is the CVC uh, letter recognition and the second one is the ABC. The CVC we recommend to play a bit later on while you would like to play the first one. Along with the apps, you get the letters. That's what yeah. you're actually purchasing. The physical thing is the letters. Yeah. So the letters are two colors and they're lowercase letters. Yeah. Um, so you got your consonant letters Which in, in blue, blue color yeah. and the vowel letters um, in are red. in red. And this game only covers short vowel sounds. So your A, I, O, U. Short e. vowels, yeah. A E I O U. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what you need to do is the moment you yeah the moment you enter the app, ding, ding, so you will be um, given three options to play. Uh, not really options. It's like levels. Mm -hmm. So the first level is going to be the mystery Mr. doll. Now, so the game is basically what you need to do is put the letter um, on the screen, there's always a screen next to the door, yeah. you put the letter there and it recognizes the letter and yeah. it will tell you the sound of the letter. So for example, A is for egg, A. We were playing this with the kids yeah. and we gave them the letters and they were just scattered all over the table. And what happened was there's a star on top. Yeah, and that's, a yellow star. Yeah, every yeah. time you put a letter and the, and the door opens, um, the star slowly gets filled up. Yeah, so you need to finish all the 26 letters, then only the full star is gonna be full. And what happened with that one student? Yeah, he keeps on putting the same letter, thinking that it's gonna be full, but the moment, it, if you put A, and then after the next three letters you put another A, it will not do anything to the star. So you need yeah. to complete all 26 letters. So you have to make sure that when you play it, the moment you put the letter A, it's done, put it on the separate area so yeah. that you know that's done. So you're not repeating that letter and the <laughs> poor thing he was keep on doing it for a long life. time is just keep putting the same <laughs> which letter was it which yeah. letter was it yeah. and we, we were like okay now we need to get involved yeah. before he hates the game <laughs> and find that letter that is missing. Yeah. The moment you finish the first level you're gonna go to the second level and the second level is called the bubble 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 bubble, bubble. bubble. so basically in this level, when you press it there's gonna be three bubbles popping up on top and in, in each of them there's going to be different items. All you need to do for this game is that your child needs to put the letter 
on the bubble. The so appropriate the appropriate, bubble. Yeah, appropriate bubble. So, so for example, a picture of a violin would come. Violin starts with a sound. So you'll find the letter V and put it on violin. If your yeah. child puts a wrong letter, what happens? It's just gonna tell you it's wrong. Yeah, no, it doesn't say it's wrong. It will tell you to try again. Try again. Yeah. But, but then again now, so they will put it on the bubble and if it's right, then the bubble will pop and then the next. Um, the next bubble will come with a different item that starts with a different letter. So they still have to finish all the 26 letters. One feature which is I, I really like is that, so for instance, if it's a picture of a nurse and your kid you know, accidentally missed the sound, uh, they can just tap on it and then they will, the machine will say the word. I Nef. feel like the third level is the most fun. So it's going to build CVC words. Before it wasn't CVC words, it was just, it was just some, random words yeah. that they were learning about. And now they learn to spell it. Yeah. Okay. But CVC words basically mean three letter word. Yeah. Uh, so consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant. For the first thing, um, the object is going to appear on top. Mm -hmm. And then out of those three letters, two will come up. Now it depends. Not you know, sometimes there's three letters, sometimes the first is missing, sometimes the second is missing, sometimes the third is missing. So now your kid has to concentrate on the spiral. Mm -hmm. So the one that has the spiral is the one that you, your kid needs to put the letter on. So for instance, the word hat. Hat. The picture of a hat will pop up. Yep. You tap the picture, it will say hat. hat. And then you will look for the beginning sound, for example, it would be a H. It yeah. will be Okay, so one thing about this game, it will say the letter H will be her. Mm. It's not her, it's her. we'll discuss it later. Okay, yeah. sorry, the teacher in me just took over. Just um, that. like the or yeah. it will be the middle sound, so yeah. ah, ah, they're looking, they have to look for ah. So when the spiral goes in the middle, what you can do to guide your child, tell them, oh, what uh, sounds go in the middle of the CVC ah. word? It's a vowel ah. letter, yeah. so they can just look at the red letters. That just breaks it down. Instead of them looking at yeah. 26 letters, which one it is, they can yeah. just concentrate on, on the, the vowel red, letters. Yeah, the red letters. You need to do, the kid has to put the letter on the spiral mm -hmm. and then if it's right, then it will say, yes, that's right. And you go to the next one. For instance, now, if they tried and tried and tried and tried, they just can't get it. Now you can tell them that you can pull the liver and it will just keep on changing Ding. to another. Okay, kids will discover it before even you because they, they will press everything <laughs> and try. Everything yeah. should have a function yeah. because but, they're yeah. tech kids. Tech yeah. kids, they're, they have high expectation really yeah. and everything needs to work. Everything needs yeah. to have a function. So now we go for the second app, but which the is second the letter CVC. be fun as well for your children. Yeah, but it's learning of the CVC word. Now, mm. how do you play it? Now, Not just CVC words. Mm. It, it, it includes other words like pi. Pi is not a CVC word because okay. it has two vowels. So basically two, three letter words. You've got the dotted third line. The, the kids put the letters on the screen so they choose what letters they want to start with if they play the other game first they already remember that the vowel sounds come in the middle so they might start with the vowel sound so sound of a a they'll put it in the middle and then they will put a c in the beginning making the k sound and then the t at the end making the t sound so k at it becomes cat um so, so only if it's a real word then, so for instance, C-A-T, it's a cat. Mm -hmm. Then the picture of a cat will appear on top. Yeah. So for instance, if you put, okay, C-A-X, for instance, yes. chucks. It, there's no such thing as something called Not chuck or cats. cats. Yeah, so cats. it'll just gonna say nothing. It doesn't say anything. It doesn't say so anything. it doesn't tell them right, it no. doesn't tell them wrong. Just try again so, until you yeah. get a proper word. <laughs> yeah, I really, really liked it. Um, and also because it doesn't just have words for younger kids, it also has um, more complicated words and that actually kept me sitting here for about 30 minutes straight playing. Um, is there a word in particular that you found that you had no idea what it meant? I think tat. Tat. T tat, yeah, tat. Do you want to search it up now what it yeah, means? Tat. Okay. All right, so before you start even playing the game, make sure that you go into the settings and see what are the options in the settings. So the settings appear yeah. at the door of a spaceship. To do it's press on the speaker sign icon. So what are these things? So the first thing is accent. You can change accent. your accent. If American gets too annoying, change it to British. If you don't if want British it to gets be... too annoying, change it to American. If you want Australian, it's not there. It's, it's not there. <laughs> so basically, it's either route 
are really... If your child gets overstimulated by music, if they can't yeah. concentrate, you can just shut it off. Yeah. You know, if music gets too much for you as well, yeah. just shut it. You can make it silent. If you want to just read a book on the couch and get your kids to play, you can shut the music, but the instructions yeah. will still be playing. Yeah. Now, yeah. if you want to make it a bit harder for your child, if you feel like your child is really good at letters, just turn off the instructions. So just <clears throat> let them try to go and play the game without instructions. How about we talk about our first impressions of All this right. game? Yeah. Okay, don't really like the box. We really need the box, so yeah, we went don't. really fast because yeah. I didn't need chuck it in the bin. Yeah, but one thing really cool about this game is that it comes with a pl waterproof plastic where you can you can put all the letters inside. And now, water gets on everything. Not water, sorry, yeah. juice. Apple juice. Apple juice. Apple Very juice gets on everything. Kind of stuff. Yeah. 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 Keep all your letters in it. Carry it wherever you want to go. Yeah. Camp, appointments, anywhere. It's anyway. going to keep your child. Um, busy and yeah, learning. Yeah, letters are really nice. Yes. That's, I it's a really nice that, yeah. size. It's yeah. it perfect for those little hands. It doesn't have any kind of rough edges. It's mm -hmm. completely it's smooth safe. letters. Yeah. It's very Water. interactive. It's a um, it's a spaceship uh, yes. theme which we love and I'm pretty sure space. kids, I mean all kids love it. So when, when you enter the spaceship, yeah. you're gonna see three levels. Yeah. Okay, so that's really good for your children because at the end, we don't want our children to be hours and hours and on hours the on the iPad. Yeah. So this basically encourages your child to finish those level straight to the point, yeah. you learn your letters yeah. and then you get off it. But then they, they spend a good amount of time on each I would have loved if there was Junior a timer. Learning. You could have you could add timing to the children yeah. for your children. So yeah. time them while they're playing. Kids yeah. love being timed. Heard the school emphasizing yeah. on phonomic awareness. To put it simple, phonomic awareness is your children recognizing sounds in words. This actually, I give it a full tick because it, yeah. it, it does exactly that. The second one will be word building. Yeah. Yes, it definitely does that. And it aims to improve your children um, in CBC words. Recognition. Letter recognition, we would love if the capital letters were included because yeah. we usually start teaching our kids the capital letters because they, they've got less curves in it, so it's yeah. easier for them to write. And again, to be honest, I feel like the whole game kind of ticks all the criteria. The children are already on iPad. They're playing a lot of games. Okay? Yeah. If your children aren't on the iPad all the time, good on you. But some parents are super busy yeah. and we don't want to blame them for this. Lifestyle now has really changed. You know, we're yeah. extremely busy. Yeah. So if your children are on the iPad already, this is a great game to get their eyes off the iPad. The letters themselves. Now, the fact that it comes in a plastic, um, a waterproof plastic uh, bag, that's very good. But the letters themselves, you have to make sure they're clean. Yeah. Because if food actually gets on the tags mm -hmm. behind the yeah. letters, it won't be able to recognize. So the letters themselves are very durable, but your iPad is mm -hmm. definitely not durable. <laughs> so you have to make sure to have a chat with your children before they play the game to make sure that they don't bang the letters on your iPad. Gentle, like if they just yeah. drop it slowly on the tap, iPad, that's, that's fine. fine. Yeah. We talked about the letters, we talked about the iPad, the app itself, we haven't really found any glitches. It's not really the good. most amazing app. Mm. You know, it doesn't it doesn't want your children to be there for too long. So yeah. it's a great app. It's an important part for me especially. So the price is $50. Right? I would say it's value for money. So when you open the box, you'll see that it has very minimal stuff. All right, don't be sad. You're not that spending that $50 just for that. Now, they mentioned that the apps are free. I feel like you're actually paying for the app. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so that $50 goes into the physical items as well as the two apps. So, yeah. And you have uh, that app forever. No yearly fee, no monthly fee. Yeah, forever it's definitely. I, I find it value mm -hmm. for money. Friendly of the game, it's completely user friendly. Before you start, just press the help button. Slide the screen. How to use the setting part, it will teach you how to play mm -hmm. each um, uh, levels. levels, and this is the same for both games. And then yeah. the last page mm -hmm. tells you what to avoid um, when when you're playing, so the safety part. And in terms of guidance, Basically, the children can actually play by themselves, mm -hmm. but still, I would say semi guidance. Now, the first thing that I would really recommend you to get while you're playing the game is so the letters placeholder. So it's you can find it even on the Junior Learning uh, website. Um, they Amazon. sell yeah, or Amazon. They sell this separately. Now you would need this so that when you put the iPad and your kid is playing in the center, and then the placeholder will go around your child. So all so 
your, your child doesn't get mixed up with the letters, they can just put them all around there. Yeah. Now, this is a really good one. The placeholder also includes the numbers, so you would get the numbers and the letters. Mm -hmm. There's a separate game for the numbers, maybe we'll do it another time. Let them be organized while they're playing. When they're packing up, they realize, okay, for example, X is missing from the writing piece and there's no letter on top yeah. of it, they know that letter is missing, so you missing. need to find it. We nearly lost one letter and we're adults. Yeah. For this game, we give it a solid 8.9 out of 10. If you enjoyed this video, we certainly enjoyed making this video. Please share, subscribe and like this video. And if you know any other way, do it. Do that as well. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you in another video.